In this tutorial, I'll show how to add a table of contents to a PDF file that consists of a series of links to respective pages represented here in the table of contents. So I have here a PDF file I created by combining several different files and file types using Adobe Acrobat. I'll just be using the tools here within Acrobat, although it's important to start by saying that I actually typed up the table of contents here in a Microsoft Word file. I simply added that .docx file into this PDF along with the other files I compiled here. However, right now, as it is, it's just a text list rather than an interactive table of links. Let's change that. To add the links, I'll click the Edit PDF icon on the right, or I can choose Tools and then choose Edit PDF from that chart. Now, it creates text boxes where these table of contents items are, but I want to add links that fit over top of them. So I'll click Links on the top toolbar and choose Add, Edit, Web, or Document Link. And in this case, we're creating document links. My mouse cursor turns into a crosshair, and I can click, left click, and drag with my mouse over the first table of contents item. This creates the link space, the clickable space that activates the link when the reader clicks in that space. It also brings up this dialog or pop-up which asks me details about how I want that link to operate and what I want it to look like. I want it to be an invisible rectangle so that the link is not visible. Um, it just makes the table of contents look a little more attractive. I want it to go to a page view, so I want it to go to a page when the reader or viewer clicks it. Okay, so this is all set up. I just click Next. Then Acrobat tells me, navigate to the page you want before clicking this button Set Link. Well, Section 1 actually begins on the page after the table of contents, so I can simply scroll down to the Section 1 page and then click Set Link. I'll repeat the process with Section 2. Go to Links, choose Add, Edit, Web or Document Link. I'll click and drag over the box and I'll try to make the boxes as uniform as possible. Once again, everything's set up the way it should be here, so I'll click Next. And now I have to go to Section 2. I could scroll down. I can also use the navigation tools that are on the left-hand side, the bookmarks list or the thumbnail list. I'll use thumbnail. Go here to the Section 2 page. I can go ahead and close that. Then click Set Link. And the link is set. Let's test these two out before going any further. I'll click Close on this tool set, the Edit PDF tool set. Now let's try our links out. Section 1 and Section 2. Now I'll go ahead and install links for Sections 3, 4 and the conclusion. So now that my links are installed, I'm going to add page numbers to the document and to this table of contents. This can be helpful since it means that my PDF is navigable even if it's printed out by the reader and the links, of course, are no longer relevant. I'll start by adding page numbers to every page but the first two, which are front matter, a title page and the table of contents itself. Now these won't replace page numbers that may be on the individual documents that made up this PDF file. For instance, if I have some scans, they may have page numbers on them. And page numbers I install using Acrobat will neither get rid of those nor really replace those. But still, if there's an overall set of page numbers, it can help your reader figure out where they are and where they need to go. So I'll click Edit PDF, choose Header and Footer, and click Add. Now I can add all sorts of information in the header or footer using these various text boxes, left header text, center footer text, and so on. In this case, I'm going to add a page number to the right header text, but before that I want to define a few things. I'll go to Page Range Options, and since I don't want the first two pages to be numbered, 
I need to choose the page range instead of 1 to 24, there's 24 pages in the document, I'm going to say we'll start at page 3. Okay, good. Click OK. Put my cursor in the right header text. Click Insert Page Number. And I can scroll up through the pages using this previewer just to verify, okay, page one will be on page three. Looks good. I'll click OK. Now, my document has page numbers. Coming back to the table of contents, since I'm in the Edit PDF toolset, these are actually text boxes. And if I want to, I can click inside them, and you can see my cursor's blinking here at the end of this text. I can click Tab to add a space and add a page number. Now I'll need to go see what the page number is for Section 2. And in fact, I'll use the thumbnail navigation to get there. The page number is page 6, which will be different from the page numbers that Adobe has built into, Acrobat has built into this file, but that are not visible to your reader in the finished product. So I'll come back to my table of contents and add page 6. And I can do that for the remaining sections as well. Now that I've installed my text page numbers, I'll click Close on the Edit PDF toolset, and I have a table of contents with working links that also has traditional page numbers, so if the document is printed out, the reader can find what they're looking for. Obviously, I could do a much more comprehensive job of formatting this to make it look a little nicer, but in this demonstrator, you get the idea of how to create a navigable PDF through a simple table of contents.